I'm going to do the 2001 AP Calculus AB um, question 4. Okay, let h be a function defined for all x is not equal to 0 such that h of 4 is equal to negative 3. And the derivative of h is given by h prime of x equals x squared minus 2 all over x for all x not equal to 0. Part A says find all values of x for which the graph of h has a horizontal tangent. So when I hear that horizontal tangent, I'm thinking the slope is equal to 0. And determine whether h is a local maximum, a local minimum, or neither at each of these values. Okay, so I was already given h prime, so when I'm talking about the graph of h and its slope, that is h prime. So part A, I want to find when h prime of x is equal to 0. Okay, so I have 0 equals x squared minus 2 all over x. I know x is not equal to 0, so it's not undefined there. In order for a fraction to equal 0, the numerator is what would have to be 0. So I have 0 equals x squared minus 2. Add the 2 over. So I get x equals plus or minus the square root of 2. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put those in our chart. And remember, they don't actually grade the chart. So as I'm doing this, you would need to write down um, the specific information that you need to come to a conclusion. All right, so if I plug in, let's say negative, um, this is negative 1.4 or something. So if I plug in like negative 2 into my h prime, I would have 4 minus 2 over negative 2. So it would be positive over a negative. So it would be negative. So I'm only, only worried about whether it's positive or negative. I can't plug in 0 because um, that's undefined. And we said x is never equal to 0 anyway. So let's go ahead and plug in 1. So I'd have 1 minus 2 over 1. So I get negative over, well, I really do need to put 0 in there as a critical value too. So I have negative over positive, so it's negative. And if I plug in negative 1 though, I get a negative over a negative, which is positive. And then if I plug in um, 2, I get positive. So what I'm doing is 2 squared minus 2 over 2, so it's a positive number over a positive number, so it's positive. Okay, so we have decreasing, then increasing, then decreasing, and then increasing. Okay, but we said x is not defined at 0. All right, so there's not a maximum at 0 because it was undefined there. Okay, so we have a minimum and a minimum. Okay, so we were talking about at these particular value, values, so at negative square root of 2 and square root of 2, do I have a local max, a local min, or neither? And then we need to justify. So we're going to say, since h prime was negative on negative infinity to negative root 2 and positive on negative root 2 to 0, there is a local min at x equals negative square root of 2. And then you say since h prime was positive, no, negative, on 0 to square root of 2 and positive on square root of 2 to infinity, there is a local min at x equals the square root of 2. Okay, and that's the justification from the table. So you can draw the table, but make sure you describe the table. All right, B. On what intervals, if any, is the graph of h concave up? All right, when I hear concave up, I'm thinking of the second derivative. So let's go ahead and find the second derivative. Okay, the easiest thing to do would be to look at h prime of x and bring the x into both pieces. So I'd have x squared over x, so x minus 2 over x, so 2x to the negative 1. So then I can very quickly take the second derivative, which is 1 minus negative 2x to the negative 2. So 1 plus 2 over x squared. Okay, we need to, to decide if um, it's concave up. And if you notice, x squared is always positive. 
So when I have 2 over x squared, that's always positive. So 1 plus 2 over x squared is always positive. h double prime of x is greater than 0 um, for all x values. Normally we'd say um, for everything, not including 0, because uh, it would be undefined as 0. But since x cannot be equal to 0 in the first place, we can say for all x values. So maybe for all x values in the domain, we'll put that just in case. All right, C. So write an equation for the tangent to the graph of h at x equals 4. So you guys should be very used to hearing about tangents. So in order to find the tangent, I need the slope, which would be h prime of 4. Okay, so h prime of 4, we go ahead in our first derivative, and I plug in 4. So 4 squared minus 2 over 4. So 16 minus 2 is 14 over 4. So it's 7 over 2. Now my point, sometimes these are a little hard to find, but if I plug in 4 into h, Notice how I get out negative 3. It was given to us. So I have the point. So it's y minus a negative 3, so plus 3, equals 7 over 2 times x minus 4. Okay. And uh, the AP Calculus exam always recommends that you leave it in this form. So they give you full credit for writing it in this form and not solving for y. Um, because a lot of people will make simple algebraic mistakes and get the wrong answer. So leave it in that form. Okay, and then part D says, does the line tangent to the graph of h at x equals 4 lie above or below the graph of h for x is greater than 4? Why? All right, so this is kind of a tricky one. Um, if you remember the definition of concavity, this is what we talked about. But uh, think about um, so the line tangent to the graph of h at x equals 4. Okay, so at x equals 4, it was concave up and your slope was positive. So think of graphs that are concave up and increasing. So things like this, that's concave up and increasing. This would be concave down and increasing. This would be concave up and decreasing. Okay, so we have some kind of curve where I have concave up and increasing. Okay, think of your tangent line for something like that. It would be below the curve. Okay, so that's what they want. So we need to say that for part D, um, the tangent lies below because um, H is concave up for X is greater than 4. Okay, it's actually concave up everywhere, so definitely when x is greater than 4. Okay, even if you think of, so remember I said it's concave up and increasing, even if you thought of concave up and decreasing, any line tangent would be below. So whenever something's concave up, the tangent lines are below. Okay, that was the definition of concavity that we used in class um, when we first learned about it. Okay, so that would be um, the end of question 4.